everyone, it's Mrs Williams from Year 2 at Blenheim Road. We have had a wonderful start back at school and although all of our children are coping really well, I have noticed that many of them want to talk about the coronavirus and what we have experienced and what we are experiencing, but many of them don't know how to begin this conversation. So I found this story and it is a story that is full of hope that you could use as a way to begin those positive conversations with your children and I'm going to read it now for you. Um, I'd like to start the story by saying the book is called The Great Realisation and it is set in the future and a little boy is sat with his father and he says, tell me the one about the virus again, then I'll go to bed. But my boy, you're growing weary, sleepy thoughts about your head. Please, that's one of my favourite. I promise just once more, take me back to 2020. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, snuggle down, my boy, though I know you know full well. The story starts before then, in a world I once would dwell. It was a world of waste of wonder, of poverty and plenty, back before we understood why hindsight's twenty twenty. You see, the people came up with companies to trade across all lands, but they swelled and got much bigger than we could ever have planned. We'd always had our wants, but now it got so quick you could have anything you dreamed of in a day and with a click. We noticed families had stopped talking. That's not to say they never spoke, but the meaning must have melted and the work-life balance broke. And the children's eyes grew squarer and every toddler had a phone. They filtered out the imperfections, but amidst the noise, they felt alone. Every day the skies grew thicker till you couldn't see the stars. So we flew in planes to find them while down below we filled our cars. We'd drive around all day in circles. We'd forgotten how to run. We'd swap the grass for tarmac, shrunk the park till there was none. We filled the sea with plastic because our waste was never capped. Until each day when you went fishing you'd pulled out them already wrapped. But then in 2020, a new virus came our way. The governments reacted, told us all to hide away. But while we were all hidden amidst the fear and all the while, we dusted off our instincts. We remembered how to smile. We started clapping to say thank you and calling up our mums. And while the car keys gathered dust, we would look forward to our runs. And with the skies less full of voyagers, the earth began to breathe. And the beaches bore new wildlife that scuttled off into the seas. Some people started dancing, some were singing, some were baking. We'd grown so used to bad news, but there was good news in the making. Old habits became extinct and they made way for the new. And every simple act of kindness was now given its due. And so when we found the cure and we were all allowed to go outside, we all preferred the world we found to the one we'd left behind. But why did it take a virus to bring the people back together? Well, sometimes you get sick, my boy, before you start feeling better. So lie down and dream of tomorrow and all the things that we can do. And who knows, if you dream hard enough, maybe some of them will come true. We now call it the Great Realisation. And yes, since then, there's been many. But that's the story of how it started and why hindsight's 2020.